Hi guys, and welcome to Smart, the show where we investigate art. Today we're at Youth Action NI, and we're going to be finding out about monoprinting. Hi guys, I'm Victoria. First of all, I kind of want to find out more about you and more about your group. So Brittany, can you tell me about your group? We are all part of a group called Techie School and in Techie School we learn about lighting and sound and backstage and we're basically there for shows that be in Rainbow Factory and Youth Action and we tech it. So do any of you guys do art yourselves? Yeah, I do um, face painting as a hobby. I, like, I started it last Halloween but I've made a lot of development since last year and started doing actual special effects makeup. So Mike, today we're learning about printmaking. Um, do you know anything about printmaking? I don't know much, but like I guess it would probably be like posters and album covers and stuff like that. I got a few of those. I got Dark Side of the Moon on my wall. It's probably my favourite. So I happen to know an artist who specialises in printmaking. So shall we go and talk to him for a while? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Hiya, come in. So guys, this is Valerie and she is a member of the Belfast Print Workshop and she's going to teach us more about printmaking. So do you guys have any questions for her? Can you tell us a bit about printmaking in general? People get confused about what is an artist print and what is a print or a commercial print. Um, basically the difference is an artist print is where an artist like myself has physically made the etching or the monoprint and it's actually on either fabric or paper and it's been signed by the artist and there's maybe, it's maybe done about 40 or 50 and they've been signed 1 to 50. A commercial printer will take a photograph of, could be a, say you did a painting and you wanted prints off of it. So somebody would take a photograph of your painting and that could be printed out like posters you could do a thousand, you could do a hundred, up to yourself how much money you had to, to spend on it. Can these processes be used to make t-shirts? Yes, historically and even these days with your own t-shirts and your t-shirts, those would have been done with screen prints, which uh, means that it would be, you could do 50 or 100 or, you know, all individually and build up the colours one by one once the colour was dry. What kind of inks and paints are used for the t-shirts and can it be put through the washing machine like a normal t-shirt? Yeah, mostly we're going to be using oil-based ink today, but we've also got some fabric paints over there for hand painting and doing stencils on as well. The oil-based inks might fade a little bit, but the fabric paints should be okay because that's what's actually been used on commercially produced t-shirts that you're wearing today. Okay guys, great questions. Now Valerie's going to tell us what task she has set for us today. We're going to actually do uh, a monoprint. You're going to practice on paper first or card, and then once you've got the hang of doing monoprinting, you're going to go and do it on your t-shirts. First thing we need to do, get a design, trace it or cut it out. Cut out some stencils. You maybe want a circle or a heart shape or something like that. you're kind of controlling it with your finger there. Yeah. You have your, your stencils, okay, you've got your plate. You need to ink up your plate. This is your practice goal before you do it on T-shirt. You want to just kind of work out roughly where it's going to go, position it just if you lay it over the top but then sort of lay it down a little bit like that. It doesn't matter if it's sticking up a wee bit but once you put it down, don't move it. And you lift it up and there is your monoprint. Get lots of different textures, it's really quite neat. So we do those kind of one print, can we move on to t-shirts? So what are the pros and cons of using monoprint? 
If you were doing screen printing on a t-shirt, it would take you quite a few hours. You'd have different stages to do. You'd have to wait till the ink's dry before you did your next colour and then reproduce that a few times. With monoprinting on a t-shirt today, we're going to do it in one go. The cons are it can take a wee bit of time to get the hang of it. Put that inside the t-shirt, okay? But you also have to have it quite tight. So we were, what is your idea? It's just like superhero kind of pow. You know, whenever like they get punched or kicked or whatever. And why did you choose this? I kind of like superheroes like Corey, and it just looked really interesting. Thought I could make it kind of cool with all the primary colours in it. What's your design? It says Shine, which means um, that's it in Irish, which is um, something we've always said uh, in Tacky still because we thought it was funny. If you put reds and greens together, you mix them together, it'll give you a brown. So there's lots of colours that will mix brown if you put them over the top of each other. So just beware you don't get a sludgy, yucky colour by putting, going crazy and putting too many colours on. So less is more, I would say, you know. So Brittany, can you tell us about your design that you're doing today? It's like I'm doing like a green background and then it says check off the 70s on top. I'm going to do like really bright colours, like 70 kind of colours. So I am with the writing. Oh, oh, come on there, get some, get, put your back into it. Go on. Right, stop. What have you learned from the workshop today? I've actually learned how to like do art, like I can't do no art at all. Like I've learned how to do like painting and then cutting out things and so it's actually been helpful. Beautiful, look at that. Woo! Oh, nice. Hi hey, folks, have a wee look at this one. So Mike, how have you found the process so far? Um, pretty good. Some bits were a bit frustrating getting the roller to do the letters properly, but I got that in the end. Would you consider your t-shirt art? Yeah, I guess. Not necessarily a very good piece of art, but yeah. What have you learned from the workshop today? That it's not as easy as it looks. It's a bit more difficult and it's very hard not to mix the colours with each other. And do you think you have a new appreciation for printed t-shirts? Definitely. A lot went into learning how to do this and then doing it, so it definitely is an art now. And do you think that you'll appreciate t-shirts more now that you know the hard work that goes into them? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Just like walking past somebody with an original t-shirt and be like, I know what went into that. <laughs> If you're interested in getting involved in printmaking, why not search online to see if there's any local workshops in your area? And remember, keep on investigating.